Scarita from the TV? I think not. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to From the Deck to the White Tea. Today we're going to do another deck profile, but this time it's not my deck profile because I don't know anything about DDD. Instead, we're going to rely on an expert on this deck. Please welcome my friend Cello. How are you doing, Cello? Hey, hi guys. Okay, so uh, tell us tell us something about you. What do you do? You, what do you do normally? Uh, what do I do? I yes. I am a computer programmer, a student, basically. Oh, that's that. That's really great. That's really great, man. So today we're going to discuss your DDD deck. So if you want to go to the deck edit to see what it is about. Yes, I'm here. So. I've played DDD for a few years now, like five or something like that, five or six years, so I'm very happy about the new rules uh, and the new, su the, the new support. Yeah, yeah, of course, you, of course you are happy. Yes, very happy. Uh, so I'm gonna show you my current deck profile for DDD, pure pure DDD, and some some options that you can put in the deck instead of the more expensive uh, cards that are in this profile. Okay, that's great. So it's a budget deck. Uh, no, but I have and some options that you can put in there to make it budget. I'm going to explain it when we get to that part. Okay, so tell us first, what is the main goal of the deck? What is the main purpose? The main point of the deck is to uh, swarm the field with monsters that can disrupt your opponent in your opponent's turn. And mainly the focus is to get synchro, synchro monsters that can negate or disrupt uh, in some way in your opponent's turn. Okay, okay, I get it. So uh, tell us, what is usually the end board of this deck? Uh, the ideal end board of this deck is to have uh, Siegfried and Crystal Wing with Criston Halky Fibrax and Plain uh, King Genghis on the field. So on your opponent's turn, you activate Halky Fibrax effect, bring Formula Synchron, you draw one card, and then with the Plain King Genghis, you make uh, Borel of Savage and you equip uh, Haki Fibrax to Borel of Savage so you have three negates and you draw, draw one card okay that's great that's great so tell us what is the ratios that you will choose for the deck yes so we have three of each main combo piece that is three DD Swift line three DD Necro line three Ragnarok and three Lamia, also three, three Kepler to start the combo, because Kepler is your searcher, he searches for the dark contract with the gate, and the dark contract with the gate searches the combo pieces. We have two Copernicus, he's an extender, he's a foolish burial when you zoom on him. We have to Thomas. Thomas is a one card rank 8 
exist almost she can summon another level 8 from the deck and you can make a rank 8 we have one Pipes Typhoon for consistency she does basically the same thing as Necroslime and two DD Ghosts uh, you could use only one DD Ghost but because we play Pot of Desires in this deck we don't want DD Ghost to be banished by Pot of Desires so I went with two copies of DD Ghost Ok, that's perfect, that's the DD Monsters so tell us what about your spells and traps formation or mainly just the spells that you have on the deck yes so it's difficult to run trap cards in the in DDD because uh, the combo is too important and if you have trap cards it's lower and you're probably just weak so for spells we have three Called by the Grave because it's a combo deck and hand traps are very dangerous for the, for combo decks. We have the two pot of desires to draw draw power, draw cards. Three dark con dark contract with the gate, the search for the deck. One dark contract with the swamp king to Fusion Summon from Hand, Field or Graveyard uh, One for one Three Allure of Darkness More Draw Power <laughs> Monster Reborn And Upstart Goblin Also to draw more cards Because we need to draw a lot of cards to get into the, the main combo pieces As fast as we can yeah, that's the main problem with the combo decks. Uh, okay, so tell us about your extra deck. Why are you playing the extra? Well, before the extra deck, I want to explain. I run three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring just to have another possible disruption. And because if I go second, then I need something to try to <laughs> to not to to disrupt my opponent's turn but you can run anything you want instead of these three ashes if you feel like you want more draw power maybe pot of avarice i don't know something like that oh, okay I, I i get it i get it that's that's really cool actually that pot of avarice is a three now but it's a little bit slow i think okay so tell us what about the extra deck what are you running the extra deck. Uh, for fusions we have uh, big big hankies and two copies of small hankies. They are combo pieces and big hankies can negate only on your turn, so that's useful sometimes. For synchros we have formula synchron for the Haki Fibrax combo uh, Oda is Meteor vs Dragon cause, because of his synergy with Pendulums uh, we have one Alexander he's also part of the combo uh, one Crystal Wing one Borel of Savage and one Siegfried which are our three main negators so with those three you have uh, one spell trap negator, one monster negator and one general negation, no? Yes. So for Exist we have one Hiking Caesar. Uh, many people don't use this card but the thing is this card can negate Nibiru but it's difficult because you need to predict that your opponent has Nibiru or something to know you have to go into Caesar but anyway uh, it's a way to negate Nibiru which is also a killer for this deck.
Yeah, uh, Nibiru is the killer of the combo decks, as the people have saw in this channel. Yeah. One, uh, Hope Harbinger, another option to negate, he negates magic, magic cards, and he can uh, redirect an attack. So that's an effect that many people don't remember, but if they try to attack one of your lower attack monsters, you can redirect the attack to Hope Harbinger and that's, that's useful sometimes also. Uh, one Kali Yuga, he's, uh, he negates everything when, when he's summoned and he's a heavy, heavy storm duster so he destroys all spell traps. So the link monsters are very recent. <laughs> All of them. We have uh, DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh, the new Link monster. Um, he, the problem with him is that if you use his effect, you can't summon anything other than DDD monster. But uh, sometimes it's very useful to to put your pendulum scales directly from your deck and uh, it's an easier uh, link to make for the DDDs anyway because it only requires two DD monsters. We have DD Crush It. Uh, I, I call him DD because he's so good in this deck. So Crush It uh, is very important in the combos. He, when a fusion monster is summoned to one of his arrows, he can special summon a mo mo level 4 or level lower monster from the graveyard. Okay, so that's basically another free summon from the graveyard. Yes. And finally we have Criston Halki Fibrax to, to make uh, the final part of the combos, obviously. So, as you can see in my side deck, I have two link monsters that are budget options if you don't want to spend <laughs> too much on Halki Fibrax. You can play Wee Witch or Link Oribo, they are fine to play in this in this deck. And the other expensive card really on this deck is World of Savage Dragon. Uh, but if you want to play a budget version, instead of Pearl of Savage Dragon, you can play uh, maybe another DD Fusion like the ones I have in my side deck, or another less expensive Synchro like uh, Omega, I don't know. Yeah, really anything but just disrupt your opponent. Something like that. Thank you.